Hey everybody, it's Dave here. Uh, I want to take a few minutes and talk about one of my favorite products, which is Shakeology. Uh, you've probably seen me blog about this quite a bit. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, this is an amazing product. And I think if you'll, you know, if you want more information, there's a link here. You can sort of get all the details about everything that's in Shakeology. Um, you know, you've got probiotics, digestive enzymes, adaptogens, vitamins, minerals, fiber, protein. Uh, really well balanced, balanced uh, meal, which is what I have for breakfast every day. I'm having my green berry uh, here today. Um, also comes in these handy little packets, which is great. Um, and all that is nice and all that is good, but um, what I really wanted to talk to you today was sort of the core values behind Shakeology. Um, Shakeology is a product that was created, and it took a long time to create, because every effort was made to make sure that the effectiveness of all of these ingredients was maintained. That's a difficult thing to do when you're talking about a product that's got over 70 ingredients, a lot of which are, you know, come from all different parts of the world. And in order to put that into a powdered shake that actually tastes good, um, it's going to take a lot of time. And it's easy to cut corners in doing that. And a lot of other companies may have cut corners doing that. Uh, Beachbody didn't. And one of the things that was really amazing and happened to us um, at the Beachbody Summit, which was just last week, was that they were going to announce a new flavor, and the new flavor was vanilla. And everybody was really excited about this. We'd sort of heard these rumors that, you know, there's this new flavor coming, and it's going to be vanilla, and everybody loves vanilla because you can mix just about anything with vanilla, and it's going to taste good. Uh, the problem with vanilla is, as Beachbody found, uh, is that if you're going to create a vanilla flavor, since that's such a subtle flavor, vanilla, you have to, in order to make it taste good, you have to sort of add some chemicals to it, and I'm not a chemist, so I can't tell you exactly what those are, but Carl Dyckler talked about it at Summit. Uh, you have to add some chemicals to it that really were not in alignment with the core values of the product. In other words, in order to make vanilla, Shakeology would have had to be in less pure than it is. And I thought what was really great about the announcement that they were scrapping the idea of having a vanilla flavor was that the reason they did it was because they weren't willing to cut those corners and they weren't willing to, to, to deliver a product that was anything less than what we already have with the green berry and the chocolate flavors, both of which are really good. Vanilla would have been great, um, don't get me wrong, and I was certainly a little disappointed to hear that we weren't going to have a vanilla product. But when I heard why and when I heard you know Isabel Deichler and Carl Deichler speak about you know the philosophy behind Shakeology and why Shakeology is what it is, the fact that they weren't willing to uh, release the vanilla flavor made perfect sense. Um, so if you're not on Shakeology already, um, contact me. Happy to send you one of these little sample packs. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, learn more about it and learn more about why the product was created. And, and that's really, I think, the amazing thing behind the story. I mean, you know, it, it is a great nutritional product. I've been on it for a year now. I've never felt better. Um, again, I have it for breakfast every day. Um, but when you dive deeper into the why behind it, that's really the amazing story. And so, um, you know, a little bummed we don't have vanilla, but i um, happy to be drinking my green berry and know that there is nothing in here that is bad for me and that no corners were cut in the making of this product. So um, there's your Shakeology tip for the day.